Sioux and Conservatory is excited to be opening Gorilla Forest. This was an $11 million project that was funded through the 2010 state legislature and is the largest fully meshed exhibit for gorillas anywhere in North America. So the project of building something like Gorilla Forest takes many, many months and a lot of people that have to participate in that, from the zookeepers to our architects, which are based out of Philadelphia. Design Presses was about a 12-month process where we worked very closely with the animal staff, the leadership here at the zoo, friends, and parks to be able to develop the, the concept, the vision, and ultimately the final design that you see here behind us today. This, this is exactly what we had envisioned. Everyone as we went through the process had ideas of, of getting these animals out, getting them to engage with the public, and being able to offer them lots of choices and activity is exactly what we had all envisioned as a design team. Well, Gorilla Forest now has seven gorillas in it. One of them is the original gorilla, Schroeder, that we had. He's a 27-year-old male, weighs about 500 pounds. Joining him in a, his troop is three females. So we have Dara, who's nine, from Toledo Zoo, uh, Alice, who's 10, from Miami, and Eni, who's 25, from Philadelphia. In addition to that, we have a second troop of bachelor boys that we just got in from Sedgwick County Zoo in Wichita, Kansas, and they are 14-year-old boys, Samson, Virgil, and Jabir. It's kind of the expectation as you build zoos in AZA accredited facilities that you um, plan for bachelor boys. There's an overwhelming amount of bachelors in zoo facilities for gorillas, and so you want to plan to have both um, room for uh, to house bachelors as well as a family group. We do um, operant conditioning with a lot of the animals here at the Como Zoo, but we also have uh, the gorillas in the operant conditioning program. And it's a uh, type of training called positive reinforcement. And so we're encouraging the gorillas to show us different parts of their body, um, do things like take voluntary vaccinations. We're, we have a blood pressure cuff. All of this is voluntary, voluntary. So they choose to participate with us. They choose to be a part of this program. Um, and it works really great. We have a new training area built into Gorilla Forest. And so the public can now see what we've done behind the scenes for years um, up close and personal. This new exhibit is just amazing. It's uh, when you look at the uh, number of kids that are going to come out here and learn about gorilla habitat and uh, how they're a threatened species because of the loss of their habitat. Uh, hopefully it will spark some curiosity in them. Maybe they'll become a biologist or an ecologist and one day they'll go on to figure out how we can help preserve these wonderful animals in the wild. The level of excitement that we have going on here is we see this time and time again when you get to open up an opportunity like this for animals like, like the gorillas and be able to set that up, it's absolutely fantastic. Gorilla Forest is a great experience to come out and get close to the animals, get nose to nose even in some of our great views. We're open 365 days a year and we expect a lot of crowds over the summer but there are going to be some great times for people to come out throughout the year and get that personal connection to these great animals.